149 pounds. The two-time national champion, Zane Rutherford, up against Keyshawn Hayes. Now ranked number six. Out of Park Hill High School in the Kansas City, Missouri area. Red shirt sophomore. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Keyshawn Sean Hayes, you know, likes to get, pop off that, you know, post that head up. just like he's doing with that right hand. And then he'll go ahead and drop down and hit a, a, a shot right there, straight on double. And we, so many times we've seen this year where Rutherford is able to just get that first takedown and then three, four quick tilts, it's over with in the first period. He hasn't gone very long with a lot of guys. Maybe the last two or three, he works to get the fall. And that's really kind of what he has to do in this situation. Zane Rutherford out of Benton, Pennsylvania, Benton High School. Two-time NCAA champion. Looking to become a four-time All-American. Was fourth as a freshman. You know, one of the things you're looking for, Tim, is when you bring a team into an environment like that, like this is right here with the, the fans and the official and the great opponent. Go red. Go red. You saw one. If you're looking at, at guys, and how would how do they do Let's when they when the calls aren't going with them? Uh, how do they hold leads? Your hands up. And then 33 yeah, and, and 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 41. Well, they certainly passed the test. They, they certainly did. I mean, when you come into an environment like this, and Jim, this is an incredible environment. Yeah. Uh, uh, kudos to Penn State. Uh, 42 straight sellouts. Um, it's an incredible electric environment. The fans on top of the mat. Yeah, and McKenna, what he was able to do there was able to go ahead, shoot it on the leg, and 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 you know created a, a scramble. But stalling was not necessarily much of a factor. Boy, Rutherford really working hard, and I got to really tip my hat to Hayes. He's standing in there presenting himself pretty well. Little shot. Good Zane, job. Zane Good. Rutherford has never lost a dual meet. And we saw him win a pretty big one against Ohio State. He, or, uh, yeah, here against Logan Stever, the four-time NCAA champion, as a true freshman. Yeah, you and I did the match, and it's, it was uh, right after the Vegas tournament. Logan Stever just dominated it. And this young fr incoming freshman goes out there and just hangs in there with him, was able to put some legs in late in the match, get a takedown, and big win, and he's never looked back. There's been, there's, he's, he's, he hasn't regressed at any time in his career, you know? It's just. And one of those guys, he's a member of last year's world team. Back on the college scene, of course, we'll be looking at one of the great wrestlers in the world, Kyle Snyder, the heavyweight, world and Olympic champion, and back on the college scene as a two-time NCAA champion and a takedown by Keyshawn Hayes. You talk about the patience. Uh, you're very impressive by Keyshawn Hayes. He's right back at it. That's another one. Two takedowns right in a row. I, I, the patience. <laughs> He's getting right after it, Tim. That, That's a back-to-back, -back. yeah. That's a, that as was... he was standing in, like you said, he wasn't backing down, and then the first opportunity for the opening, great quick shots. Yeah. You know, good, yeah, look at this. One count. Oh. And a two. He got yep. a two count. So it's two-point reversal and two points near fall. Boy, he did a nice job of bear-hugging in on that. And the Ohio State coaching staff debating on whether that was uh, points or not. Now he sucks him back again. Let's go to Shane. Read the first red. All right, Joe, you were here last year for Stanford. It was different tonight. Yeah, um, it's my second time competing in Rec Hall. Last year, it was for Stanford, and, you know, it was loud in here, and fans were rooting against me, but I don't think they hated me. This year, coming in, wrestling for Ohio State in a big match like this, you know, it's loud in there, but everybody hates you. You know, I was walking off the mat and I just heard a little hooting and hollering. They're aggressive fans, I'll tell you that. But it's fun. I mean, whether they're rooting for you or against you, it's just as awesome to silence a crowd as it is to get them to their feet. Nice win tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Zane Rutherford out front five to four. He's never lost a dual meet up against a upstart sophomore, Keyshawn Hayes, 
giving him a battle. Two quick takedowns for Hayes. You say, why is this working, Tim, is because Hayes is keeping uh, Rutherford about six inches to maybe 10 inches further away on his shots than what he's comfortable with, just with his posting and all that. There's a shot. Reed is in control. Takedown. Try to collect that bottom leg, maybe Turk, but here's where everybody knows it's coming. And the pain, and the pain begins, Jim. Yes, he's working this hard. Hayes showing some toughness, not going over quite yet. But he's going to keep on. Since he's got the belt buckle turned to the sky, it's a little bit easier to turn the shoulders. Good job by Hayes going all the way through on that. 29 seconds. Well, he's really working this hard. Now he's got the leg turned again. Watch him get the hips turned first and focus on it. Now he's got that ankle. Bow and arrow technique. Now he's going to try to scoop the bottom leg. If he can go ahead and scoop the bottom leg with 15 seconds, let him not be able to pin him with that. It's going to be a four-point near fall minimally. And Rutherford's going to go out in front 11 to 4. Got a lot of riding time working on a major. And Zane Rutherford is our State Farm State of Success. He has scored bonus points in every match this season. Right now he's working on one against the number six ranked Keyshawn Hayes. Fans coming to their feet. Penn State being shut out after the first three matches. They need something big to happen here. And Rutherford in the top position slams that leg in one more time. He's able to suck it back. He's getting a count. Another four count out in front now, 15 to four. You know, at this stage... Oh, he only got two. Yeah. So the, <laughs> that, that won't be very popular. That, that was not popular. Uh, he must have come back past 90. And, but but uh, Rutherford's top position wrestling has changed. He's thinking fall right yes. now. He's working with the, the, the wing pretty hard. Well, well, Keyshawn Hayes, man, I'll tell you what, it's pretty tough under there, Jim. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, it, it referee John Nath, I mean, come on. He, it, that's both, when you got both legs in and yeah. underneath there, I mean, there's nowhere to go with the bottom position. And there's a number of guys out there that are really good at showing you why. I and mean, if there's anyone you would say is just dominant, it's Zane Rutherford. Yeah. So. And the crazy thing is, he's got the 15 pins, but oh. if he pins when he builds leads. Well, he's got this bow and arrow lock one more time. 45 seconds, still plenty of time. Boy, I, you can say what you want. Hayes is really yes. competing out here today. Yes, he is. Yeah, yeah, he is competing in that bottom position. You see a lot of guys go over with that. And switches off to, you know, attacking one leg, right? Now he has the bar arm. One point stalling, and now we're going to get the count. And it's going to be a four count this time. So now it's 19 to four. And that will, that will be do it. it. Once uh, he gets back to a he neutral has the position. opportunity to pin. He's got to be able to work that half, get that go half with that left hand. He tried it. Four points. They love this guy. 19 to four. And Zane Rutherford comes back from getting two quick takedowns against him to tech fall, Keyshawn Hayes. And this is one of those where Zane Rutherford did his job, and Tom Ryan's going to give old Keyshawn Hayes a good pat on the